Hello, welcome back to my. I'm gonna put you guys right here. Welcome back to my channel. My odd, weird channel that like isn't about any particular thing. And this is quite a shift, but I'm gonna start doing resin product. I keep wanting to say products, projects. And I'll probably just be like recording when I do projects and start my own little shop. I already have like all the resin products, um, like the resin, uh, it's too much to like, I spent a lot of money on this. So I kind of put it off for a little while and I was like, eh, it doesn't sound interesting because I like to change the things I like every week. So it's different and I never stick to one thing and I always spend money, like hella money on a new interest and then end up either not even doing it or not even carrying out with it for longer than a month. So that's kind of a bad habit of mine when I need to stop. But anyway, so right now we are gonna go to the Dollar Tree and see if we can find any anything that we can use for our resin projects. Also, I already have a list of things that I I already have a list of all the things that I want to get, so I'm gonna just see if I can find anything else that is like Halloween spooky themed. And I've never been to this Dollar Tree, so I'm not sure like how well they'll be stocked. Cause I've, I've been to like a lot of different Dollar Trees and some really, really suck and some are pretty good, so. Hello. We are back at home, as you can see. I just feel super weird. I know I'm not the only one, but I feel super weird when I'm a video recording in a store, when I'm by myself, it's just very awkward. So I decided that, and you have to wear masks, so you probably wouldn't even be able to hear me anyways. Um, so I just decided to do like a mini haul and kind of explain what I will or am planning on doing with all of these items and just other items that I've gotten. Um, and I'm also drinking pumpkin coffee. If you haven't tried World Market pumpkin coffee, it is so good. Pump, pump, they're like pumpkin grounds and it's by World Market and it's pumpkin flavor in like a little orange bag but it is the best coffee grounds that i've ever almost had and it's only like six bucks or seven bucks anyways let's just jump right into this so i've got the things that i was planning on getting and i also got a few extra things as well so first thing i'm gonna go over let me just take everything out of this bag first okay so i got i spent a total of 24.22 for quite a few things. I think I got about 20, 20 items and then tax, or maybe 19, 20 items and then tax, sales tax, of course, because I live in a taxing state. First, I guess I'm just gonna go over the paints that I got. I wasn't planning on getting any paints there, but I thought I might as well try it. So, First, I grabbed, I think I only, have, no, I grabbed four. Okay, so I grabbed four paints. I grabbed purple, orange, and these are not by the same brand. Black, and white. So I think these are pretty good. I mean, they're, they're Halloween base colors, I guess. So that's kind of cool that I was able to find all of the, those colors. So. I got some resin molds that have some detailing in them and I was wondering like how the heck are you supposed to see the detailing after you've put like the resin in and everything and it's like a thing. Well I've seen a few techniques of where people actually paint the details before they put the resin in or they will kind of after the whole thing is finished and the resin is already done and it's already cured then that's when you kind of paint on the side that has all the detailings 
and then you wipe it off with a paper towel and some alcohol and it should the excess should come off and the paint should stay on the detailing i don't know so that's something we will definitely try because i liked that technique oh and then you put an extra coat on top of the paint of course so it doesn't chip off i also got a long handled lighter just until i get my heat gun i ordered my heat gun i should probably get it next week but i mean i might as well try this technique today and see how it works and mind you i have not ever done resin so this is like very very new to me i've just been watching videos so i'm a very 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 beginner i've just been watching a lot of videos but i've heard that the lighter thing can kind of not be that great so i bought a heat gun on amazon it was like i don't know 18 dollars the next thing i got is they had vinyl paper and the only color that i really liked was the sparkly um silver i mean it's not even silver maybe it's just white white sparkly vinyl paper um and i think that would look really really cute in the back of a design i'll have to figure out how to do that but i also saw a video on that and i really liked it also got this so i got something that i wanted to put my paint in so i wouldn't have to waste more cups and stuff for paint so i can kind of just reuse this it's a paint palette but it's a little dinosaur but it's so cute i love it so i had to pick it up I was like, ah, that's adorable i love that let's see i also got some of these eye makeup brushes to apply glitter because i've heard that these help a lot and there's like 20 in there so that's a really good deal um a nail file to kind of maybe file edges if i need to alcohol i'm not really sure the percentage of alcohol that you should use on like if you get it on your skin or anything i might not even matter but this is 70 percent. i'm not sure if there's higher um but i just got the highest one that they had because i guess probably the higher alcohol content the better also got this little measuring cup uh, this is going to help me because I, I, I got cu plastic cups, but then I realized that my resin is a one-to-one -one ratio and how the heck am I going to measure it out when the cup is like small and then it gets bigger. That's not like an accurate measuring. I'm still going to use the cups, but it's not like an actu accurate measuring. It doesn't have the measuring things on the side, but it also has a little pour nozzle snout thing so that's going to be really helpful and i can most likely reuse that i'm not really sure how <clears throat> resin i'm not really sure how it does when it dries on certain things like how easy it is to clean up or peel off or whatever <sighs> okay <clears throat> i also got this pizza pan i needed something flat and not plastic to actually do my pieces on and i mean this seems pretty flat just just as long as it's sitting on a flat surface um, and it doesn't seem like it'll like slide around super easy which is nice the silicone will probably stick very well to this hi can i help you i also got this like little like cover to put over my projects until they dry i'm going to be placing them outside until winter so i don't want any i've heard some stories about flies and i mean if it's outside you never know what can crawl in there some ants or something i've seen a lot of people get this uh these table covers to put in their projects as well it's like a holographic table cover and it seems like there's a lot in there and I could use this would last it seems like it would last a while so just cut out in the shape that I'm making and kind of do the same thing as the paper vinyl is kind of just put it on the back of a design so if I have something in the resin for example my butterflies that I want to do I could do like a butterfly and have some flowers and then have the vinyl in the background I really planned it out too much yet 
not really sure if this would look cute with the butterfly i would have to see what colors of butterflies i got i don't remember but let's see the next thing they had these really really cute uh, halloween stickers not really sure if it's gonna work but we can just we're just experimenting on everything because i've never done anything before so <laughs> they had these little cute pumpkin ones these are super cute and i think on all of these you can pop out their eyes and their mouths and their noses if they have them so that's really cute and then they also had these little witchy hats those are adorable so cute okay last two things i got a they so cute they had this little little bales of hay oh my gosh so adorable so i was thinking i could do some kind of halloween design and just <coughs> sprinkle some hay around it i don't know i thought it would be cute for halloween and then the last thing i had to pick up i'm not excited for christmas yet because it's not halloween yet uh, but you don't even have to use this for Christmas, but it is Fox Snow. They did have Christmas things if I didn't say that already, but this is just so pretty and it was a dollar and I just, I had to grab it because knowing how pretty this is, this is probably going to go really, really fast. And I'm like, if I end up doing Christmas designs, this would be just adorable. So that is it for my... I don't know if I would call it a mini haul because I did kind of get quite a, quite a lot of things. But I am gonna use everything and I'm gonna try everything and see if it works. I'm also gonna try and video record all of my resin pro projects. And yeah, this is, this is a journey. So come along with me. <laughs> all right, bye.